today we're gonna tackle one of those everyday projects everyone can do around their house. This is the Mensch with the Wrench, Michael Goldstein. Michael, this looks complicated, but you tell me anyone can do this, right? It's not as bad as it looks. Everything should come in the box, and this one has a light fixture that we're gonna attach. Now, I noticed it also came with this. Maybe some of the guys at home aren't familiar with these, but this is actually a manual that you can actually read and open. All fans are different, so go by the manual, because um, there are specifics when we get to putting in the bracket and stuff, um, and it just makes your life easier. In order to install a ceiling fan, you need some basic tools and supplies. Nothing fancy, just a Phillips and flathead screwdriver, some electrical tape, a wire stripper, an electrical tester for safety's sake, and a drill, just to speed things up. All right, we have our parts, we have our tools, we know what we need, let's get started. All right. Hand me the screwdriver and we'll get going. Boom. Michael pops off the cover plate to reveal some wires. These are always color coded so that you know what you're working with. The neutral wire is always going to be white or gray. In this case, ours is white. And then the wire that brings the power to the fan can pretty much be any other color. Ours is yellow. Michael uses his wire tester to make sure we're getting power to the area where we'll install the fan. All right, so that's the one, and flip it off. Great. So now what we'll do is we'll go downstairs and turn off the power. Next, Michael screws in the mounting bracket using the same holes and screws that were holding the cover plate in place. Then, the fun begins. We are gonna start by assembling the fan. Michael begins by cutting the wire to the appropriate length for the down rod, which he'll attach to the fan base. Can you hand me the wire cutters? Perfect. So glad I knew what those were. <laughs> we're gonna snip these off because we're only gonna need about this length of wire to get through the end of this down rod. Okay. If you had high ceilings in your house, you can get longer down rods, uh -huh. um, which is why the wire comes so long, but we don't need all of that. So we're just gonna snip them off. Michael pulls the wire through the down rod and attaches it to the fan base. And just in case you're a little wary that your installation skills may lead to a falling fan, Michael points out a little safety feature that ought to make you feel better. There's a hole in the fan, which you'll see. And then you just slide this through, um, and this is if the screws ever fail. Okay, uh, and that keeps it from landing on your dining room table? Exactly. Michael strips the top of the wires where he'll connect them to the wires in the ceiling. So we're all set here, nice and tight. Believe it or not, we're ready to hang the fan. Hand me the fan, and uh, we'll put it up. There's a little um, groove in this ball right here. Okay. There's a little lip right here, and these actually connect, so now it's locked in. I can't twist it from okay. side to side. So this green one is our ground, so you need to connect that, and it connects right onto the bracket. Then the next one we're going to connect is our neutral, which is the white one here, and it's all color-coded. The blue is for our light kit, okay. and the black is for our fan. So we're gonna connect those both to this yellow wire, which is the power. And to connect everything, you just line up the wires like that, and you put on the wire cap, and you twist, and it gives them a nice connection. When dealing with electrical, people always get nervous, so if you don't feel comfortable, it's better to spend the money and just pay someone to do it right. That's when you bring in the mensch with the wrench. You can call me or any of your local electricians. Michael tucks all the wires securely in the bracket and attaches the cover plate. All that's left to do is attach the fan blades and the light kit. There's a little lip up here on the blade. The screws are already set into the bracket, and we're just going to tighten them in. So the last step is just to mount this light fixture. We're gonna connect these two wires, which everything's color-coded and labeled, so it makes it even easier. They fit only into one of the two prongs, so if you're putting it in one and it doesn't fit, you're obviously doing the wrong one. Okay. I honestly can't believe how fast this is going. So we are linked now, and then I'm just going to mount this up. And before we know it, we're finishing off the fan by putting in the bulbs and putting on a glass cover. Okay, Michael, the power is back on. Ready to see if this thing works. All right, give it a try. There's the light. Another feature this has, and most ceiling fans do, is a reverse switch. That reverse switch makes a ceiling fan a money-saving device year-round, helping to cool off rooms in Chicago's hot summers by pushing cool air down, and in reverse, forcing the warm air down from the ceiling during those harsh Midwest winters. Okay, I may have actually added some time to this installation with all of my questions but we got a fan and light kit installed in less than an hour and for less than a hundred bucks. Michael, thank you very much. That's the Mensch with the Wrench. This is our new ceiling fan.